the dance weed with trash bin cleaners direct here's one of our titanium trash bin cleaning trailer packages this one has the full 17 stage wastewater recovery and filtration and recycling system on there this actually can actually recycle and reuse the wastewater multiple times allowing you to double triple the amount of trash cans you can do in the field I, along with pretty much some of the world's fastest uh, cleaning speeds uh, we are up to seven times faster than other cleaning systems by being able to be that fast it's almost like comparing a 20 inch push mower mower to a 72 inch john deere tractor mower you know when it comes to trying to mow a football field obviously the little guy can mow a football field but you're going to be there for two days when it comes to the right equipment doing the right job this is what you're looking for this is the 31 horse 3500 psi nine gallon a minute high volume hot water power wash with a built-on 2900 watt onboard generator with power of the recycling system a 115 volt high efficiency diesel fired burner and our recycling system so basically this is all set we also include a uh, 20 gallon winterizing tank even in texas and florida once in a blue moon they'll get snow so you want to be able to winterize these on top of that we have um which is kind of unique in the industry believe it or not and it's kind of uh, unbelievable but we actually have a separate wastewater holding tank so we have a supply tank and a wastewater holding tank you see the dual tanks there and the main difference with our system is we do not use this trash bin hopper that the hydraulic lifter is over to where you're cleaning the trash cans we do not haul wastewater illegally in the back of this trash bin cleaning hopper this these are open top uh hoppers right now our, our filters are out of it but technically water could spew out the back if you hit the brakes or take off too quick or if you make a right hand turn too sharp so basically if you're spewing out unfiltered wastewater that has oil grease phosphates from fertilizer which can cause algae blooms if they, and also cross contamination of like the blue green algae that's spreading across the country that is actually killing dogs that swim or drink out of the lakes or rivers um it's kind of a dangerous scenario so basically what we do is remove that wastewater from the trash bin hopper on the rear of the truck or trailer we transfer it through our filtration system filter that wastewater return that wastewater back to the recovery tank on this side of the trailer and then for our system that have the wastewater recycling system our hydroclear wastewater recycling system we actually will filter that wastewater and return the wastewater back our highly filtered wastewater back to the supply tank so we can reuse the wastewater multiple times this really uh, extends the amount of runtime you're not running around on a 10,000 pound trailer with 15,000 pounds of water and equipment on there. I mean, just look at a standard GVRW. If you look at, um, at hauling two 525 gallon water tanks, supply and recovery tank, that 8,800 pounds of water, plus all the hydraulics, hopper, the tank and everything, you're probably 9,500 pounds just in the tanks alone Add a thousand pound pressure washer, add another 1500 pound trailer and other equipment. And why in the world would anybody build that on a 10,000 pound trailer? Look at the spec sheet, look at that if you are looking into other brands. There are some that are so ridiculous that you have to almost sit back and laugh at. So we can help you weed through um, some of the information. No, it's not gray water. When you're cleaning trash cans, you are removing heavy amounts of grease oil mainly because there's not a lot of coffee cans out there anymore the steel coffee cans what most homeowners or renters would dump the oil and grease into while cooking uh, used to be the perfect container sealed up nice put a bag around it and it would hold the grease and oil in nowadays though they're gone because of the pod type coffee makers so more and more people are bagging their stuff or dumping that grease and oil right into the yard waste bin or recycle bin and it's creating a greasy, filthy cleanup issue when it comes to that. Plus, it's a very heavy environmental impact. So 
you know, when it comes down to what you're cleaning nowadays versus five years ago, it's two different type of trash bin. It's amazing the difference between the grease, the oil, the issue with the phosphates, fertilizers, pesticides, pharmaceuticals, household chemicals. Where in the world does anybody make anyone try to believe that's gray water? Gray water, the water that goes down your bathtub sink, your kitchen sink, that's got nothing to do with a commercial affluent or commercial wastewater that trash can cleaning produces. Learn, give us a call. Talk to the experts here at Trashman Cleaners Direct at 616-250-4039. You can go to our website. We do a going pretty deep explanation on all these, which is www.trashbincleanersdirect.com. That's trashbincleanersdirect.com. We also have pressurecleanersdirect.com. And you can also email us at info at trashbincleanersdirect.com. Be able to answer all these questions, help you get into it. Make sure your GVRW, your gross vehicle weight ratings are street legal. I mean, there are trucks out there and now trailers out there that are literally thousands of pounds over the legal limit of the truck and trailer. If God forbid you end up killing somebody or running into somebody because your brakes failed because you were over cargo weight, the Department of Transportation State Trooper always go by the capacity of the tank not what was in the tank at the time so you have to be aware if you've got a 525 gallon tank on the back of the truck and a 525 gallon supply tank you cannot put those on nrrs or npr isuzu their lighter duty 14,500 pound rated truck 16,500 that much water requires at least a 20,000 pound rated vehicle uh, be cautious because there are definitely builders that are building these things that are literally going to put you in harm's way and financially devastate you because one thing that insurance companies will not pay any claim on if they deem that your vehicle was over cargo weight. That voids your policy and can literally financially ruin you. This trailer here, for example, is about 9,800 pound total weight when full. But it's sitting on a, we actually have this trailer rated for 14,000 pound. Those are twin 7,000 pound axles, 14,000 pound capacity. So we're over 40% excess on the cargo weight capacity that we can carry on this trailer. But we wanted to make sure you had the most industrial grade package. We also have something kind of unique on some of the trailers. We have double doors on each side of the trailer for easy access to get into the vehicle. No, you don't have to climb over the power washer to get inside. So you got double door, these are eighth inch steel doors. This is not thin aluminum. They're taller, they give you a lot more signage capacity. Uh, we offer packages with the safety strobe light. Uh, some of the K trailers are on all our trailers right now. Filtration systems are on all of our trailers spare tire hydraulic power pack you name it so basically if you're looking to get into something that's this lucrative of the industry and you really want the best of the best trust me i've been a heavy equipment diesel mechanic i built pto drive driven trucks and power units and pressure cleaning systems for in the industry and i've been in this industry for 33 years cheap is never cheaper when it comes to running and operating a business, especially when you're running this many hours a day. I want to thank you for listening to me and uh, seeing our video. Uh, any questions, feel free to give us a call once again at 616-250-4039. Website is trashbincleanersdirect.com, trashbincleanersdirect.com. And the email is info at trashbincleanersdirect.com.